Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to Intro to Scripting, Episode 1. And today we're going to talk about properties. So what are properties? All objects inside Roblox have properties, and these properties allow you to change how they look and how they behave. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to insert a part here inside the workspace. Now we can go over to the properties tab and we can see all the properties this part has. For example, brick color. I can change brick color and it'll change its color. I can change to lime green. I can also change how transparent it is by moving this dragger. See, I can make it almost invisible over here. I can also change how big it is. So now it's a big cube. You can change it inside Roblox Studio, but what happens if you want to change them inside the game? Or what happens if you want to change them using a script? How do you do that? Well, the first thing you want to do is insert a script here in Service Script Service. Now you have to reference the part to access its property, so this is how you do it. You do game.workspace. So game is the overall parent of everything inside your game. Workspace is under the game, so you, you do game.workspace. Now the part is located inside workspace, so you do game.workspace.part. You add another dot and you can see all the properties and all the events that are associated with that part. So let's say we want to change the transparency. So game.workspace.transparency and what you do is you set an equal sign and you write the transparency we want. So you pick a number between zero and one. So let's say game.workspace.part.transparency equals one. Setting it equal to one will make it completely invisible. So let's see if that works. So let me run this. Now the part is completely invisible. You can still see the outline when I hover over it, but it's completely transparent. Okay, but let's say I didn't want to do that. For example, if, if you notice, I'm gonna try and move the part up. It falls right back down because it's not anchored. If you anchor it, it will stay up in the air. So how do we change that using a script? Well, that's very simple. You do game.workspace.com Part dot anchored. Now anchored is a boolean value, so meaning it can be only true or false. So if it's false, it means it will fall out of the sky. It means it's not anchored. If it's true, it means it is anchored. So let's, let's do true, so it will stay in the air. So when I run this, and I drag the part up, it should stay up in the air. And it does. And that's about it for properties. It's the easiest scripting concept you'll find. And it won't take you very long at all to master this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you in episode 2.